my story. Tonight we're going to read about a story called New Rules for Holy Living. Moses went and told the people all of the Lord's words and laws. They answered with one voice. They said, We will do everything the Lord has told us to do. Exodus 24, 3. The miraculous opening and closing of the Red Sea was only the beginning of God's powerful way of providing for his people. As the nation of over two million people made their way through the desert of Sinai, they quickly finished the bread and water they had taken from Egypt. When they were thirsty, God provided water. When they needed food, God sent bread from heaven each morning and quail in the evening. When God's people were attacked, he gave them victory in battle. God promised to be with his people, and he was. He did far more for them than they could ever imagine. Straight from the mountaintop, taken from Exodus 20. The great mountain rumbled and boomed like an earthquake. The smoky skies clapped with a thousand thunderbolts. Help! The people cried out as they ran for cover. Settle down, settle down, shouted Moses. The people gathered below the mountain, ready to listen to their leader. Moses stood high above all the people so they could hear his voice. I've been on the mountain with God for 40 days and 40 nights. He gave me special rules for us to live as his holy people. Moses held up two stone tablets and read the rules to the people. God is number one. There is no other God except our God. Praise God every day and only worship him. There is nothing else worth worshiping. Always use respectful words when you speak about God. Have one special day a week to rest and praise God. Honor your father and mother. Obey them, answer when they call, be kind to them, and always show love toward them. Be kind to everyone. It is wrong to hurt another person because everyone is special to God. Husbands and wives must be loyal to each other, showing love and kindness always. Do not steal. Respect the belongings of others. Always tell the truth. Sometimes it's hard, but it's always the right thing to do. Be happy with what you have. Do not wish for things that belong to other people. Everything you have is a blessing from God. This is God's message for you today. From this day forward, let my grace guide your words and your actions. You are my people, my chosen ones. I have set you apart from all the nations of the world. Be a shining example wherever you go. Good night and sleep tight.